He is a leader that prides himself in speaking the truth without fear or favor. However, his truthful tongue is landing him in trouble with leaders rising to oppose him for his latest statement about his relationship with the president. Gashagwa last night opened a can of worms on a deteriorating relationship with the head of state that led him to be removed from a WhatsApp group where coordination of the president's diary happens. <laughs> ya program ya rais sijui apatiwe nini sijui apati hii lakini kidogo alisahau kuwaambia ukweli shida ya naibu rais na serikali hii ambayo yana yeye pia anashiriki kama naibu wa rais ni kwamba yeye alikuwa ameanza maneno ya shares ya kugawa inji yetu hii kwa maneno ya shares isiwe wewe unasimama kila siku na kusema ati mimi ni msema kweli na wewe ndio mwongo mkubwa Mimi naongoza kwa uongo. Unaongea uongo usiku, unaongea uongo mchana. Mambo unaongea ukishika microphone ni mambo tofauti unaongea ukiwa kwa ofisi. Hiyo ni kwa kiongozi kweli. Na ndio mimi nataka niseme tusidanganyane. Heshima sio utumwa. Tuungane sisi wote. Najua hata hii kuungana tumeungana na upande wa ODM. Kuna watu tu wanatudanganya hapo lakini kwa undani yao hawataki wanasikia kama angepewa hii anataka hii the second in command has now been accused of bringing who unto himself with those who weighed in on the interview saying his mission is to divide an otherwise united nation on tribal lines mimi nimwambie naibu rais kwamba tajriba ama uwezo ya mkenya yeyote kuendesha shughuli ya serikali kama waziri ama speaker we would like to see the deputy president touring the country, the whole country, the entire country. And if he doesn't know the borders, maybe somebody should show him the borders of this country and tell him that we'd like to see him touring, talking about the development of Kenya as a whole. As elected leaders, once you are elected into a position, you cease to be a leader of your small community. Majority leader Kimani Shungwa, who has been on the deepest neck, not leaving anything to chance, rising up in every occasion to call his deputy party leader to order. Ichungwa has accused Gashagwa of spreading divisive politics and being behind the Gen Z protests. We are seeing the regrouping of the executors and financiers of the June 25th chaos. The infiltration of the peaceful demonstrations by criminal elements were organized groups, well financed, well planned. Those are the groups that are now regrouping. Probably, watch this space. The majority leader insisted that the second in command does not have the best interest of the country. Tawale wanalia wa metolewa kwa mahotap group. Tuache siyasa za ukabila, tuache siyasa za uchochezi, tuache siyasa za kuwagawanyisha wa Kenya, kwa misingi ya ukabila. Pia ile WhatsApp group ya broad based government iko open. Hakuna mtu atatolewa. Sisi hatujatolewa na hatutajitoa na hakuna mtu atatutoa uh, kabisa. Kwa hivyo mjue sisi tuko Kenya moja, WhatsApp yote ya Kenya ni moja. Ule hako kwa hiyo WhatsApp group ya Kenya mjue ni yeye mwenyewe amejitoa wamemtaka gashagua asite kupigania kuonewa huruma na badala yake atumikie wa Kenya wote bila kuegemea upande wowote hatuna mlima moja tuko na mlima mingi sana hapo buye kuna milima nyanza kuna milima karibu mia moja. hata hapa hata hapa kuna milima tunaenda kuingia kwa milima Sasa tusi, tusi, tusi divide Kenyans kwa basis ya mulima. The DP has been called up to work for the whole country and stop complaining. With talks of his impeachment rife, leaders now say the DP seem to be running from his own shadow. We know nothing about any impeachment as a party. We know nothing about any impeachment. As a leader of majority, I can tell you there has never been an any impeachment motion against the deputy president. That has been his creation and those that he walks around with is a sympathy-seeking gimmick to try and incite people from the Mount Kenya region and more so against members of parliament. Gashagwa's allies have however come out to defend him, terming his fight for the interests of the people of Mount Kenya as a good cause and not a tribalistic political card. They say the talks are intended to demean him. In as much as we want to say Rigiji is tribal, 
You should remember that in the UDA uh, run up to the governor race, we had a candidate, Bishop Margaret Wanjiro, who is Kikuyu. But Rigiji prevailed upon her to step down for Sakaja. So this gimmick of saying Rigiji is political or, or tribal, it just hula balu because is he only tribal when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to talking about the rights of our people? As the debate on who will be the Mount Kenya kingpin intensifies, women in Meru are now saying they will back Kindiki, decrying what they term as having been taken advantage of for long. <laughs> The issues facing Ashagwa will go down in history books, making him a deputy that faced opposition not just from other parts of the country, but also from his own backyard. The DP can only pray once again, fencing the Mount Kenya for a miracle to happen. Brian Amuai, K24, Nairobi.